It seems like we're living in the era of adaptations. Movies to games, games to movies. It's always safer to make something that is a known quantity than to come up with something completely new. Well, Sony is sitting on a wealth of content in all of its established video game franchises, and they know it. We've seen bits and pieces of the upcoming Tom Holland Uncharted movie, and heard rumblings about the Last of Us HBO series. But with the news that Sony is creating seven TV series and three movies out of its PlayStation intellectual property, we have to wonder what other games will get the adaptation treatment. So, I thought I'd go through some of PlayStation's biggest franchises and talk about the prospect of a game-to-screen adaptation, and whether it should be in the form of a TV series or film. It's unclear whether the Uncharted movie and The Last of Us series are included in that count, so for this video I'm going to assume they're not, and list the 10 IP I could see getting adapted. With Uncharted and The Last of Us adaptations on the way, I think it's safe to assume we'll be seeing the same for PlayStation's second best-selling property, God of War. God of War started as an incredibly fun but straightforward series with a single-minded protagonist. I will have my revenge. In 2018, we got a new Kratos, a much more reflective character seeking to redeem himself. And you must be better than me. The question with a God of War adaptation would be whether Sony would start from the beginning or with God of War 2018. I can imagine the Sony boardroom right now. They're going to be scared of confusing their current audience with the quote-unquote old Kratos, and will want the movie they make to resemble the games that you can go out and pick up right now. If anything, I could see them finding some kind of middle ground, possibly having a handful of flashbacks for the context of where Kratos has come from. God of War would best benefit from the huge budget of a blockbuster movie, and the story as is doesn't quite fit an episodic TV structure. After Uncharted and The Last of Us, God of War would most likely be the biggest success out of the remaining PlayStation IP, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Horizon is PlayStation's newest AAA franchise, and has seen a lot of success on PS4 and now Steam. There's also a lot of hype and anticipation leading up to the next entry in the franchise, Horizon Forbidden West. I think a movie would be the best fit for Horizon. There are just the right amount of great twists and big moments for a solid two and a half hour movie. And then once Forbidden West is no doubt a huge success, they can follow it up with a sequel. But whatever comes. One franchise that PlayStation has shown interest in continuing over the next generation is Little Big Planet. I don't have much to say about LBP other than I'd rather a movie than a TV show because of the silent protagonist, and it would easily be cute enough to see success in that demographic. Ratchet and Clank already saw a movie adaptation back in 2016 loosely based on the original game. It's also the closest thing that PlayStation has to a mascot franchise that is still currently active and hugely popular. With Rift Apart to release sometime in the coming months, and PlayStation's acquisition of Insomniac Games in August of 2019, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of Ratchet & Clank over the PS5 generation. A TV series would be perfect for Ratchet & Clank, with the huge bank of games that could be adapted to tell one cohesive story, rather than picking just one to turn into another movie. If Sony would wisen up and start putting more of their stuff on the big streaming services, a beautifully animated Ratchet & Clank series on Netflix would be huge. Clank! Ah, no. oh. Oh. Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? Another Insomniac franchise Sony might adapt is Resistance. Resistance was one of PS3's big exclusive trilogies, and it seems like that's where it will stay as far as games go. But that doesn't mean that they couldn't return to the property in the form of a TV series. If they add a few characters, expand the story just a bit, and don't drag the show out too long, it could be a great four or five season show. The Infamous games were a blast to play and had huge potential. They were full of great world building and interesting powers, but their developer Sucker Punch has moved on, 
recently putting out Ghost of Tsushima and likely developing a sequel for it. A great way to jump back into the world of Infamous could be a TV series. As much as there are rumblings of burnout on superhero media, they only continue to be more and more successful. I'd personally like to see a new story set in the Infamous universe, but I think following Cole and going from there could be a good move too. Seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that, uh... nope, can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. Talking about Sucker Punch, a Sly Cooper show would be awesome to see. The issue with Sly Cooper is that a movie was planned to release the same year as Ratchet and Clank, but was cancelled. They pivoted to making a TV show, but it has seemingly disappeared. While that series could still be in the works, it seems like it's been quietly cancelled. Just because projects in the past have had issues getting out the door, doesn't mean Sony couldn't decide to try again with this new adaptation effort and finally put out a Sly Cooper show. Keep your shell on. <laughs> Turtle jumps. Really? I see the line. I get there, pal. Everybody be cool. I'm on it. When you talk about Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper, you have to bring up Jack and Daxter. You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to him? I doubt that all three will get adapted but Jack and Daxter has a huge fanbase that wants more from the characters. Naughty Dog has long since moved on from the franchise, and who knows if PlayStation will ever hand the property over to another developer. But in the meantime, a Jack and Daxter series could be a good way to bring them back into the limelight. Again, I don't think all three PS2 platformer mascots will see adaptations, but I'd love to see it happen. For my last two picks, I'm going for some lesser-known properties that saw moderate success. We're obviously going to get some of the big ones, God of War, Ratchet, Horizon, but I bet we're going to see some out-of-left-field weird ones too, and for some reason the property that I'm most drawn to of that ilk is Fat Princess. I can imagine Sony trying to use Fat Princess to make their own version of Red vs. Blue, each episode showing different crazy plots of the team's attempts to thwart each other. Fat Princess was hilarious to play and had such a fun, light-hearted tone. Translating that to a show, where all of the characters are the different classes, could be such a fun watch. I miss Fat Princess, and would love to see it come back in some way. A show could be a great start. Out of PlayStation's dormant properties, I could see them making a TV series based on The Order 1886. I really enjoyed The Order, but that wasn't the general consensus among reviewers. The game's biggest success was that it was great to watch. Ready at Dawn created it with the cinematic feel in mind, even making the extremely rare choice for the game to play in a widescreen aspect ratio. However, the game's biggest critique was that it wasn't fun to play. The no-brainer solution is to turn it into a series. The setting, design, characters, and story were all excellent, but the gameplay wasn't seen as exciting enough to match. So remove the gameplay and you have a phenomenal product that I truly see becoming successful. If Sony were to announce an Order 1886 TV series tomorrow, I think we would see all of the major gaming news outlets agree that it is the right direction for that property to go, and I would be excited to see it. Sir Galahad, this matter is not yet over. Of that you can't be sure. There are countless IP I didn't mention that could end up being great on screen. A Gravity Rush anime, a Twisted Metal movie, a Killzone series, a Heavy Rain miniseries. There are so many possibilities that I could not have possibly predicted everything. So what do you think will happen? What do you want to see adapted, and do you want to see it as a movie or TV series? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to help my channel grow, and click the bell to see what I make next. I'm Shimshazar, and I'll see you next time.